You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, let's talk Team USA basketball at the Tokyo Olympics. Now, the U.S. men will be starting their play here in a few days, and they had a pretty rocky exhibition. Uh, exhibition games, I should say, to actually prepare for the Tokyo Olympics. They lost to Nigeria. They also lost to Australia. Now, the USA was the overwhelming favorite to actually win gold. And folks, the standard for USA basketball, especially when it comes to the men, is gold and to never lose a game. I mean, that's very, very high expectations. But folks, we produce the best basketball players in the world. We should not be losing to Nigeria. We shouldn't be losing to Australia. Now, to the credit of the men's team, they did beat Spain and they did beat Argentina. Now, the Argentinian victory, that was actually a 20 point win. And against Spain, the U.S. won by, I believe, seven points. I think it was something like 83 to 76. So not as solid as beating Argentina, but still they got the victory. However, guys, the USA is not a lock, according to the betting odds, to actually win the goal. Now, folks, that's still the overwhelming favorite, but it's not as comfortable as you would actually think. Check this out, guys. Olympics betting. Team USA basketball odds plummet after shaky showing in exhibition play. And it goes on and it says here. USA basketball men's team had a shaky showing in his exhibition schedule in the lead up to the Tokyo Olympics, and the odds have shifted accordingly. Team USA dropped exhibition contests to both Nigeria and Australia before rebounding with victories over Argentina and Spain. Before the exhibitions began, Team USA was a heavily favored minus 1,000 to win the gold medal at Bet MGM meaning a better would need to bet $100 just to gain $10. There has since been a steady drop since. Follow, following the Nigeria loss, Team USA's odds dropped to minus 800. After the Australia loss, the odds fell to minus 600. Now with their opening Olympic game just four days away, Team USA is listed at minus 350 at Bet MGM. Folks, they went from minus 1000 to minus 350. And I know that there is actually, you know, some criticism of the construction of this team. But this team is still led by Kevin Durant. They should not be losing to Nigeria, who was the 22nd ranked team in the FIBA rankings. Nigeria is not a threat to actually win anything. No kind of gold, no silver, no bronze. And he lost to that team. It's, it goes on. It says that still makes Team USA a significant favorite, but it's quite a drop from where the odds were just a few weeks ago. Team USA isn't a very popular bet either. According to BetMGM, Team USA has received 5.1% of the bets and 7.7% of the money. The most popular team among bettors is Australia, whose odds have jumped from plus 2,000 to Plus 750, the second best behind Team USA. Australia has attracted 44.9% of the bets and 54.3% of the money and is the biggest liability for the sports book. Other big liabilities for BetMGM are Slovenia, which is, of course, led by Luka Doncic. Slo Slovenia, Slovenia is listed at plus 2,000 and has received 15.2% of the bets. And 14.6% of the money. Nigeria, which has a roster full of NBA players, is listed at plus 2,500 and has received 10.1% of bets and 11.4% of money. So, guys, here's the odds right here. You can see USA minus 350 and Australia plus 750. You know, the U.S. is still an overwhelming favorite. If I was a betting man, yeah, I think the USA should still be the favorite, even though 
I would not be surprised if this team does not win gold. I wouldn't be surprised whatsoever. And, you know, it's kind of a trend, you know, in this Olympics, how how all these woke athletes that are protesting over stuff, they lost. I mean, even the Team USA women, they lost too. Um, our soccer team just lost an actual match. I mean, the only saving grace, you know, for the men's basketball team is this was just exhibition games that they lost. And I'm not surprised, you know, that Australia moved up because Australia actually beat the U.S. by eight points. However, the U.S. blew a 10 point lead in that game. So Australia, which is actually a higher ranked team, much more than Nigeria. That was an 18 point turnaround, guys. 18 point turnaround. So I'm not surprised, you know, that they actually moved up. But the U.S. doesn't seem to be a very, very comfortable favorite. So, guys, what do you think it is? What do you think of Team USA and their odds to win the gold dropping? I'm not too surprised. I still don't feel completely confident that this team actually will end up with the gold medal. Should they be the favorite? Sure. Yeah. OK. We'll have to see. But it doesn't seem like Team USA has a lot of people actually rooting for them because we have seen what these NBA players actually think of this country. They don't seem to respect the country from the NBA bubble. The NBA has tuned a lot of people off. And this is the first Olympics I can actually think of where people aren't really excited about Team USA whatsoever. I mean, we should actually be dominating the world stage on basketball. And that just hasn't happened. It hasn't happened because these NBA players have been focusing on other stuff that has nothing to do with with basketball. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.